Hey y'all, Haley here, and I just wanted to take a quick moment because I keep having uh, a lot of people ask me, how is the information that I'm hearing about the national housing crisis uh, affecting our local market here in Bed? So I just wanted to send out a quick video um, to hopefully answer a couple of questions, but you know, I'm always here to answer more questions if you want to reach out directly. I'm watching a couple of trends here in Bend specifically, but this really affects all of Central Oregon. First is prices. Um, we have seen prices steadily increase since the beginning of the pandemic, and they peaked in about April of this year, and since interest rates have been going up, we have seen prices steadily going down. So prices peaked at about 763000 That's the median sold price um, that we were seeing at that time. And they have been going down um, pretty steadily. And as of August of this year, the median sold price here in Bend was 717000 So while that is still a historically high number, um, it is lower than what we were seeing this spring. Um, it's actually the lowest they've been this year. The second trend that I've been watching is the actual number of homes available. So we have seen an increase of about 3% in the number of homes available for sale. So while the number is, is going up there, uh, we are still historically low in the housing inventory that we have that's available here in Bend and Central Oregon. Uh, the last thing that I've been watching is the number of days that a home stays on the market from the time that it's listed for sale uh, until it has an accepted offer. So. Uh, last year, um, at this time, the median days on the market was about four days, which means that a home would go up for sale on a Thursday, there'd be a big frenzy of buyers, and then it would be pending um, or have an accepted offer by the, the following Monday. So pretty quick overall. If you, were, uh, if you bought a home during that time, you know how frenzied that was. And if you sold a home during that time, um, you also know kind of how crazy that time was. So uh, what we are seeing now as of August of this year is that the median days on market is 15 days, which again is still historically very, very quick um, for a house to be on the market before it has an accepted offer, but it's four times as long as it was last year. So um, historically low, but still something that we um, are all still getting used to again. So what does this mean for buyers? What does this mean for sellers? So for buyers, it means that you probably won't be competing with 15 or 20 other people whenever you go to buy a home. Um, if you are looking at maybe a really cute home in a hot area, you might be competing with a few people, but overall right now we aren't seeing a ton of competitiveness whenever people are buying a home. It also means as a buyer that you have a little bit more negotiating power um, during the initial offer process as well as during the inspection period, which we didn't see hardly any negotiating during inspection periods over the last year and a half or so. Um, for sellers, what it means is that while you may not see that quick four-day frenzy that your neighbor saw or that your friend did whenever they sold their house, um, most people we're seeing right now still have a really good amount of equity in their home, especially if you purchased it three, four, 10 years ago, you most likely have a really good amount of equity uh, to get you on to the next place that you wanna be, whether that's selling your home to move out of town or selling it to buy another great home here in Bend. So yes, it may, um, it may seem like prices are not as great, but I think that we're just not seeing that big frenzy. Overall, prices are still historically high here in Bend. Um, and so I'm happy to help answer any questions. Like I said before, feel free to reach out to me directly if you wanna meet up for coffee or a drink and chat about the market or about your home. Um, and I'm gonna also send out some more information about getting uh, the a value on your home and getting that information if you're interested as well. Thanks so much and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Well.